Hello plant friends. Hope you guys are all doing well and staying amazing out there. In this episode, we are going to talk about three unconventional, unorthodox, not so talked about approaches to minimizing leaf burn and leaf browning. Um, I think these approaches are something that you guys should try, especially if you've tried basically everything else. You know, your your plant leaves are, you know, they're burning, they're browning, and you know it's not bugs. You know, your humidity is as ideal or as optimal as you can make it, uh, you know, and, and your your leaves are still browning. So, so if that if that's kind of where you are, and I know that's kind of where a lot of people are, uh, try these thoughts, <laughs> or at least think about these. So my first thought is circulation against transpiration. <laughs> Transpiration, even if you guys are unfamiliar with this term, um, you guys have probably seen it in action before. And this is when the leaves, when you look at your leaves, especially after watering, maybe you know later in the day or the next day, you see that there are sort of like water droplets from, from your leaves or that your leaves, at the tip of your leaves, it's dripping water. This process is called transpiration where the plant is trying to get rid of excess water. I think this is super common because a lot of us are watering our plants probably, you know, every week, two weeks, maybe three weeks, um, and we give it a good dose of watering, and then I guess the first day or two or three, the plant will have excess water, um, and it'll just transpire and, um, you know, um, release that excess water through the leaves and, you know, those water droplets. We know that water just sitting on your leaves create this, you know, ideal environment for bacteria and fungi to live in. You know, even if that, you know, that that drop of water, that area of water is stagnant for, you know, even only a few hours. And we know that a lot of bacteria and a lot of fungal growth can, you know, chew up and eat away at the leaves and cause leaf spots. So my thought and my recommendation, you know, if you're having a problem with leaf burning, leaf browning, increase your circulation, right? Increase the air circulation in your place or around your plants so that when your plants do transpire, um, then that water is readily you know, moved or evaporated or, or cleaned up and cleared away. So um, there's nothing for bacteria and fungi to grow on uh, and possibly damage your leaves. Okay, so my second tip. My second tip involves lighting and oxidization. Oxidization? Oxidization? Something. <laughs> All right, oxidation, oxidation. So we know that variegated plants, are, or at least the variegated areas of leaves, um, lack chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is known to be an oxidant, an antioxidant. It's, it's the same thing as sort of like what, blueberries? You know, when we eat blueberries um, and other things, they're like, they have this, you know, good health benefit because they're antioxidants. What do we know that oxidizes, right? Or, or, you know, what do we know that creates free radicals that kind of like go around and wreak havoc in our bodies? We know that, you know, sunlight, right? Sunlight, um, you know, intense lighting. Uh, so my tip for you guys, or at least, you know, think about is, you know, what is your lighting situation? You know, are your plants too close to really, really intense light? You know, a lot of us have grow lights because our indoor spaces uh, don't have, you know, or don't um, don't receive enough natural light. Uh, so, so you know, I think uh, grow lights are super, super commonplace. But you know, are those lights? too close to your plant? Um, you know, are they too intense? Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know what your setup is, but I think that these are just some thoughts. Um, you know, think about your lighting position in relative uh, to your plant and, um, you know, just, just think about it, okay, guys? Uh, especially, if, you know, you're, again, if you tried everything else and you're maximizing your humidity um, and you're, you know, you feel like you're doing all the other things, but your leaves are still burning, uh, think about, think about your lighting situation, okay? Is it too intense and are your lights too close, okay? Okay, so for my third tip, um, before I get to my third tip, I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is 
this online learning community that has thousands of classes to help you guys become more creative and more successful in your creative endeavors. Quite a few of you have asked me about, you know, starting their own YouTube channels. You know, Skillshare will really, really help you guys, you know, making those dreams a reality. So one of the classes that I'm currently taking is called Filmmaking on a Budget, Tips for Achieving a Cinematic Look. It's by Simon Code, and he's a filmmaker or production person, and he's giving really, really good tips on how to make better YouTube videos on a low budget. So they have tons of classes on illustration, graphic design, photography, um, film and video production, basically everything you guys need to get better at trying to be creative and sharing that creativity with you know the rest of the world. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click in the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore and express your creativity. All right, so let's get down to my third tip. My third tip is probably, I would say, my most dangerous tip. Um, and my third thought or slash tip is maybe think about your watering frequency. And I, and I really, really hate to say like, oh, water more often, right? Because uh, root rot is a common, common killer of, of plants. So I really hate to tell people to water, you know, more frequently than they actually do. But this might be something that you guys should consider. Uh, you know, what I've noticed in my plants and maybe you've noticed on yours is that, you know, if you really, really stretch the um, duration in which, uh, duration between waterings, you notice that towards the, you know, towards the end of that, you know, before your, your watering, your plants, you know, the, the leaves are, you know, they're either curving up or, you know, they're, you know, they're a little crispy around the edges. You know, what, what I find is that, you know, if you're, if you, if you reduce the watering, the, the parts of the leaves that kind of show you that they need water the most is usually at the edges and at the tips. Um, so, you know, I, I feel that, you know, for variegated plants, especially the variegated parts are probably more susceptible, susceptible to damage and um, they're less hardy than the, you know, the, the regular parts of the leaves. So, you know, my thought is that I think that, you know, maybe, you know, if you're watering too infrequently, uh, which is, you know, which is fine. <laughs> I, I think I tend to water on the very infrequent side and my plants kind of show it, um, I think that it, it does have an effect on your plant and the leaves. Um, so, so that's just a thought you know, I guys, I want you guys to consider is that, you know, maybe if you're watering your plants every 14 days, maybe every 12 days, you know, you, you know, just maybe try that. Um, or if you're watering every 10 days to back it off to every nine or eight days and sort of see what, um, you know, what happens. And maybe that will help with, with your leaf burn and leaf browning. Again, um, these are just, you know, three very, I would say very unorthodox, unconventional thoughts um, that will, you know, maybe help you guys when you guys have, you know, just haven't thought about anything else or um, have tried everything already and you guys are still having leaf burn and leaf browning. Um, okay, so those three tips in review are one, increase circulation uh, to address transpiration of your leaves. Uh, two is lighting and oxidization or oxidation. Um, you know, maybe your lighting situation, it's either too intense, too close or something. Um, and, and, you know, maybe it's over uh, <laughs> oxidating your plant. Um, so, you know, that's just a thought. And the third one, uh, again, which uh, take with, with some caution um, is to, to water just a tad, a teeny tad more frequently. Um, and then, you know, maybe that'll, that'll help you guys um, help you guys out. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave comments below, like, subscribe, and um, yeah, till next time. Happy planting!